How's it going guys? Welcome to Wednesday's Upload. I have an RU match here for you today versus someone by the name of Shika Nara. I think this is from my stream the other night. Uh, kind of a, uh, well not the other night, like last week. Anyways, a little bit of a shorter one because I got a lot of things on my plate ready to uh, to give out to you guys. Plus I think I, you know, probably just want to end up doing some more videos tonight and then stream tomorrow morning maybe. Still not 100% on that, but um, it's a possibility. So we'll just go ahead and play that back right now. All right. Now looking at it, I did see that he had an Asalagor, so what I'm going to want to do, uh, in case you remember the last time I used this team, I, I've just gotten so cozy with this team, I just, uh, it's it's so nice. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's a Choice Scarf Charizard, in case that was not evident from the last upload I did, and I'm looking at it, and not he has nothing on his team that resists fire, so you know, if I can, you know, kind of threaten things out with it. I didn't realize until after the match that he had nothing that resisted fire, but I was like, you know what, we'll lead off with the Asalagor, and we'll just air slash, er, he'll lead off with the Asalagor, I'll lead off with the Charizard, and did you see that fucking sprite hack? I know some of you are just like, because I was. <laughs> Anyways, um, Air Slash is going to bring him down to his Sash. I was kind of hoping maybe for the flinch, that way it could just either A, take him out outright, or, you know, B, end up flinching him, you know, what, whatever the case may be. But, he's going to U-turn out, it does absolutely nothing owing to the quad resistance. But now he knows I'm Scarf, so he's actually able to take advantage of that fact, go into his, uh, his Claydol who he knows will be able to take a hit reasonably while well. I'm just going to fire off air slashes because I know he's going to set up the stealth rocks. Regardless of what I do, I don't have anything that can prevent him from doing it right now. And it was a little bit more worth it to me to, uh, you know, to bring down the Aceligor to a point where if I set up my rocks, um, he will die, you know, upon coming in. And that works out fantastic. Now, the only real thing I'm gonna, probably going to need Charizard for is maybe, maybe, maybe Ferro Seed, but I do have a Gallade on this team, so it's not 100% of a threat right now. But anyways, uh, he does bring in Aggron, since he does quad resist that I gotta get out of there, I will definitely watch, you know, my Charizard switches carefully, but I can stay in here, you know, take the head smash, or whatever he decides to go for, and, you know, barring some weird-ass Scarf variant, because I'm not running any speed in this, um, if you're running, like, max speed, or I don't even know how slow Gallade is, thing is, is that he doesn't want to take a times for fighting move, so he decides to switch out to Claydol, I do predict this, since, you know, I'm in a better boat to be, uh, playing a little bit more aggressively than he is at the moment, and because of that, he now loses his Rapid Spinner, meaning that if my Steelix can come in before his Aceligor does, then he'll be in a little bit of trouble. What I probably would have done here is brought in the Aceligor to get as much use with it as possible, but I understand if he still wants to use it as Death Fodder, that's also a, uh, a good move there as well. But his Thunder is really obvious, his Thunder or his Bug Buzz, whatever he wants to go for. If he decided to go for the Giga Drain had he brought in the Aceligor, he would have gotten a little bit of health back. Not saying that that would have really worked out too well for him, but it's going to be working out a little bit better than this Galvantula is doing. Because, you know, the Hidden Power, uh, the worst he probably could have hit me with is like a Choice Specs Hidden Power Fire. Which, looking at the damage, it's still really, it's going to be like a two-hit KO tops if it were to be Specs. But, I think I saw Life Orb on that anyway, so that's going to be like a 3 hit KO thanks to a little bit of special defensive investment I have set up. So, set up the Stealth Rocks, Dragon Tail, and that is what this thing does. And, um, I realize I'm going to take a little bit of Iron Barb's damage. I don't care, I'm just Dragon Tail. And I find it absolutely hilarious when they switch out, and you Dragon Tail them, slash Worm, slash Whirlwind them back into the thing that they were in, and it's just like, no, get back in here because fuck you, you know, that kind of thing. So, he goes for the Energy Ball, it's got a little bit more base power. It will also hit neutral as well, so that's why it does a little bit more than last time. Um, not really that big a deal, though, since I'm still able to Dragon Tail out. I don't want to bring him into the Pharisee, but I do bring him into the Pharisee. Mainly, you know, as long as I don't bring him into the, uh, the Gallade or the Pharisee, those are the main things I'm worried about, because the Gallade will force me out, and, you know, he can possibly get a turn to set up. This thing will set up a Leech Seed, and then I will have to Dragon Tail it out, which is exactly... Uh, exactly. Did I just invent the word? Exactly. Exactly. Actually what ends up happening right now. So I'm going to go ahead and face this thing out, bring in the Celagor. This is what I was aiming to do, you know, kill this thing off owing to passive damage uh, and an air slash. So, you know, finish off that last one bit of HP. And because, you know, he ended up dying on that turn, I actually get some lefties as opposed to, uh, you know, getting rid of some uh, health with Leech Seed. But now he brings in Gallade, and now the shoe is on the other foot. Because I'm realizing that this team of mine does not like fighting types one bit. This could be really bad, especially because he has sub. I'm probably doodling myself a little at this point. I don't I don't remember what exactly happened. I remember panicking the instant I saw this thing, especially because he has the sub, I have a lot of HP, and you know, I'll be giving some of him or some HP back to him with the leech seed. And it brings him up, you know, really high. And he does have lefties as opposed to life orb, meaning his hits will be hurting a little less, but his survivability is increased that much more. I'm running a more offensive variant of what he's running. I think he's running a 
He's running sub, bulk up, probably drain punch, and shadow sneak. I'm running bulk up with three attacks uh, with life orb. So we both have shiny glades, but they both serve, I guess, different purposes, I would suppose. Um, well, not really different purposes because they're both bulk up sets, but I, I think you can get what I'm getting at. Mine's more offensive, his is more defensive. It's kind of interesting to see this matchup happening. And I recognize that my Night Slash is not really going to do that much. Uh, it's the only thing I really have to hit him solidly. I'm not going to hit him with a Drain Punch. I could hit him with a Leaf Blade if I really wanted to, but I figured, you know, the, I, I think they're like the same base power and they have the same, you know, boosted crit ratio thing anyway, so why not? I actually think Night, Sla Night Slash, I'm a little iffy as to whether or not it might be higher. I was like, you know what, we'll just fucking go for it. I don't care. So, cool thing is, is that after Shadow Sneak, uh, it kills me off owing to Life Orb, meaning I can get a safe switch into Archeops. Relatively safe, anyway. If he decides to go for the Shadow Sneak, it might bring me into Defeatist, I'm thinking it will. But here's the thing that absolutely confused me why he did it, because I was like, okay, this is going to be threatening, it's a Flight Jump Acrobatics, and I'll just do that, and maybe I can take him out from Defeatist, and he switches out. Which was a really poor play, if you ask me, like, absolutely awful. So, he switches out to Fair Seed, that is a, you know, Flight Gem boosted Acrobatics of like a base 147 attack. Holy shit, Archeops, what are you doing? That is a ridiculously high attack. And I also have Earthquake on this set too, you know, since that's fairly common to run on these things. Time for a super effective move right there. Uh, in case you're not familiar with what Defeatist is, you know, a lot of people might not be because they don't really use this thing. Uh, if, it, if your HP is below half, then your attack and your special attack are cut in half. And this thing actually doesn't have a terrible spec attack either. They're both really fucking good. And he's got a base 110 speed, meaning that I outspeed Galvantula's 107 or 108. I think it might be... It's the same one as Infernip. I know it's below 110 because Gengar and whatnot. Anyways, I take it out with an Acrobatics as well or something of the sort. Now, here's what he should have done in the first place. He had plus 2 on the bulk ups. He had Rocks damage. He should have gone for the Shadow Sneak because if you look at it, it does 60, you know, without being boosted. He had plus 2. It would have done a really good chunk to me. And then maybe he might have had his Fair Seed alive. But, you know, because he wanted to play it safe or whatever, he's probably thinking he would take that better. Uh, he ends up losing the game there, you know, to a little mini Archeops thing at the end. I even managed to kill him off at the end, even with the Defeatist going. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I love Archeops. So, I don't know. Anyways, if you enjoyed the game, a little bit of a short one, but you're welcome to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe, do your thing. Um, hmm. Videos. Throwing them in or around your computers. We'll see what happens there. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.